to start off by telling you how much I love you. I'm afraid I won't know what to say or be able to explain in words my love for you. Your love has been a true refuge for me, a place for both of us to grow. Like many seasons in life, there have been many great harvests and, as always, many lacking ones. But just like life in itself, time never ceases and seasons never stop. Our love has withered, grown among circumstances, been nurtured, been tested, and has even been given new life. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for this day. Thank you for this time. Thank you for just Zach and Asia. Um, thank you for just making this day so beautiful, Lord. Um, we see your blessing all over it, Lord. We see clear skies, perfect weather, Lord. Um, we see that you just love them so much, God, that you just um, made a way for them to come together, Lord. Thank you for bringing us all together. Thank you for this marriage and this, this covenant, God. And I pray that it just resembles your love um, for your church, God, more and more every day and every year for the future, God. And I, I pray over this family and the generational blessings that you're going to give them, God. Walk with them in every step. In your name, amen. Amen. Thank you, man. I'm eternally grateful for all that we've endured and all that you've helped me with. Without you, I'd be lost, but you knew that. I promise to always be supportive of you, understanding and attentive to you and any needs that you have arise, always uplifting you. I promise to always remember the great times, to love and cherish you. I promise to always be open with you and always be willing to work together through our adversaries while always respecting you as we continue to walk through valleys and mountains together. I'll hold you close through difficult times and will always wipe your tears and pursue you. I promise to always lead us and never be too proud to seek help or counsel. I promise to be gentle and kind for all of our days, and I will always remember this moment and these words we've spoken today gathered here with Christ, family, and friends, and honor this covenant. You are a father to my son, and after today, <laughs> with great honor, I get to say our son. You are my right-hand man and my biggest supporter. My only hope is that through Christ we can lead and love together as time goes on. Something we've always referenced to one another over the years is we are supposed to walk alongside one another together. From this day forward, you will never walk alone. And in fact, today, we run. Oh, love is where you are. Just know that love is wherever you are. Asia is incredibly kind, genuine, loyal, and would literally take the shirt off of her back for someone. She radiates such warm energy inside and out. She truly is one in a million. Now, for her and Zach, I've had the privilege of watching their relationship grow, and I've honestly never known two more absolute perfect people for each other. Zach, I couldn't ask for a better partner for my best friend. Your kindness, gentleness, and selflessness does not go unnoticed. Thank you for loving my favorite girl and always putting her first. My wish, if I could have one, is for everyone to have a person like Asia in their life. And Zach, you now have her forever. I once read something that said, love is a friendship that has caught fire. So may your fire stay strong and bright and full of love and laughter for years and years to come. Because faith and love is all you need. This whole world doesn't seem. Someday we could all be free. Yeah, we could change.